Hello there, welcome to our channel tutorial guru again. Hope you are doing fine. I'm back with another tutorial video, and today I'll be showing you how to download and set up your Snapchat. And now, without further ado, let's dive right into the video. But before that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more videos. Okay, let's open up our Play Store first and search for uh, Snapchat. You can see the search bar, let's search for it. Snapchat, and here it is. And you can see the install button over here, this tab there. And it's 61.81 MB, it's a big app. Let's wait for it to install properly. And it has been installed, let's open it. And after that you can see the login or sign up buttons at the bottom of your screen. Tap on the sign up option. And let's continue and let's allow the snapchat to access our contacts and then let's allow it to make calls and let's go and let's sign up for our snapchat this is the place where you put your name sign up and accept and okay after that uh, after you put your name just tap on the sign up and accept after that uh, you can see the birthday option over here either you can uh, type, type it manually over here I guess not you cannot type it manually over here and you have to input your birthday over here by selecting and scrolling under the these uh, calendar calendar I guess and let's go and, let's in, and this is our birthday please make sure that you uh, input your birth date or register your birth date correctly after that let's click continue and there is a thing you need to know before you uh, write, put your username you can only change your username once a year so choose wisely you know? uh, this is where you need to be a little careful over here so let's change it uh, I like to go with my name and let's continue so choose it wisely, wisely guide guys and here is the place where you input your password let's type in your password let's continue and this is our email you, uh, you can change or you can sign up with your phone instead but for now I'll be signing up with my email and let's continue okay let's input our number over here and let's go please type in your number correctly And the code has arrived. Let's input our code. And let's see to continue. And there, guys, you can see all your friends who are using Snapchat over here. And these are from your contacts. Uh, let's just add a few of them. You can add everybody if you like, but for the purpose of this video, we will be adding just two or three uh, until the criteria for Snapchat is over. And let's okay, and let's allow Snapchat to access our camera and local storage. Turn on, let's allow, and let's allow. And there, guys, we have successfully installed and set up our Snapchat account in our Android device. Open up our Snapchat. After opening, you will be taken to this interface where your camera is open now to create your own avatar. You can see the person icon on the top left corner of your phone beside the search option. Let's tap there. And after that you can see the create my avatar option over here so when you tap on there uh, your front camera will open and snapchat will link your avatar okay to do that let's hit on our create and create my avatar button over here tap there and you can select the male over here or female on your gender and after that uh, snapchat will start to uh, sync your picture and create anime so you can select uh, your pictures from different op different options from over here you can see all these options over here and I think I'll go with this one let's continue and after selecting that you can see the continue option over here tap there and after that you can see all the skin colors which uh, you should pick if you want to but if not you can uh, just save it and save it Yes, and next we are going to pick an outfit. After that, you can see all these outfits over here. You can try. Uh, just select uh, whichever you like or uh, 
whichever you prefer so I'll be going with this one I think and let's save it you can oh. and there guys our avatar has been successfully created on snapchat okay let's open up our snapchat app first and after that you can see your bitmoji or your profile icon on the top left corner of your phone just tap there and after that uh, you can see the friends category over here at the bottom of your phone and you can see the add friends option over here just tap on there and you can see all these friends are from your contacts who are on your phone and you can add whomever you like and if you want to go find all of your contacts just you can see the all contacts option over here which on the top right corner just below the snapchat icon over here tap there and these are all your contacts uh, on your phone and you can see those who are currently on snapchat you can add but those who are not using snapchat you can invite them so if you want to add your friends from your contacts who are using snapchat just tap on add like this and you can see it's uh, added and if you want to invite somebody from your contacts into snapchat the sit on the invite and for now i will not be inviting anybody because i had uh, i have already found who i was searching for in snapchat in my snapchat account and there guys adding somebody on your snapchat from your contact list is this easy let's open up our snapchat app first and now to change email address you can see the bitmoji icon or your profile picture icon on the top left corner of your phone tab there and after that you can see the settings icon over here on the top right corner of your phone just tab there and after that you can see your email address over here under the category my account just tap on the email and after that uh, you can currently see my email is this one now if i wanted to change it i will use another one so basically let's cross it and change my email address okay let's save it now let's enter our password for security purpose now there you can see our uh, uh we have successfully changed our email but uh snapchat will send us a verification link so now it has already arrived on my email you can see the team snapchat has sent me the confirm your email address now tap there and after that you can see the confirm email option over here after opening the gmail or the email sent by snapchat tap on the confirm email and let's use google chrome for it and there successfully we have verified our email address there's another email saying that snapchat email has changed and now let's go to our app and after successfully verifying our email you can see the email has been changed in our settings here okay let's open up our snapchat app first to change your username you can see your profile picture icon or your bitmoji on the top left corner of your phone tap on there after landing on this interface you can see the gear icon or the settings icon in the top right corner of your phone just tap there and after that you can see the username option over here just tap on the username and after that you can see the change username option available over here tap on there to change the username so basically you can only change your username once a year so i have already uh i have not uh change the username yet but i want if i want to i would continue and now to choose and now to change your username let's go i'm not gonna change uh, my username to any new one but i'll be simply just uh changing the letters of it and after that you can see the next bot next button appear in blue let's tap in the next and after that uh let's assign the password and let's confirm and you can see over here i can only change my username once a year so if i continue uh, it will be changed just continue and change our username let's continue and you can see oh hey man where your totally your username has been successfully updated continue and there guys this is how you change your username in snapchat and now to change your body you can see your profile picture icon or your bitmoji icon on the top left corner of your phone just tap there beside the magnifying glass icon and after that after landing on this interface you can see the gear icon or the settings icon on the top right corner of your phone just tap there 
and now after that under the category my account you can see the birthday option which is the turtle over here the stamp there and after that my birthday is a little bit mistaken I, the year is mistaken so if i wanted to change it you can see the scroller up here on the right downside of your phone now to change the year and month and day you can see all these buttons over here now if i wanted to change my year i would just scroll it down a little bit and let's see continue and okay so there guys this is how you change your birthday in snapchat okay let's open up our snapchat app first so before you dive right into your changing your display name you need to know a thing that is you your username is a different thing and your display name is a different thing your username can only be changed once a year while you can change your display name every time you like so to change our display name you can see your profile picture icon or your bitmoji icon on the top left corner of your phone tap there and after you have arrived in this interface you can see the settings icon or the gear icon on the top right corner of your phone just tap there and after that you can see the name as well as username over here so i uh, basically said before your display name is a different thing whereas your username is a different thing so we have already done the username thing so to now change your display name let's tap on the name under the account category and basically this is your display name you can see the display name tag on the top now if you want to change it let's change it i want to change it like this and after that let's tap the save and there guys we have successfully changed our display name as you can see on the name option to change our language we must first go to our profile by tapping on the profile icon on the top left corner of your phone or the bitmoji icon on the top left corner of your phone tap there and after that you can see the settings icon available on the top right corner of your phone tap on the settings icon or the gear icon and now after landing over here we need to find the option which says language and it's over here just above the voice scan option available over here on the bottom of your screen you can see the language option tap there and after that currently my my language is also english which is the system default of language and if you want to change to any of these languages just tap over like this and you can see the change option will up here over here now let's cancel it for now and i still want my default language to be english if i wanted to tap japanese that type tap like this and and when you tap on the change option available over here like this the language will be changed in our snapchat app to japanese and after restarting and let's again go to the profile by tapping on the profile icon or the bit bitmoji icon on the top left corner and you can see everything has changed to japanese and there guys this is how you can change your language in snapchat app. changing your language in snapchat app is this easy okay let's open up our snapchat app first now to clear our cache we must first go to our settings to go there you must first tap on the bitmoji icon or your profile picture icon on the top left corner of your phone Just tap there and after tapping there you can see the settings icon or the gear icon on the top right corner of your phone Just tap there and now you need to know a thing before you clear a cache that is your snapchat cache holds data to help the run faster you can clear the cache if you need to free up storage space on a device or troubleshoot some issues clearing your cache won't delete any of your memory snaps or chats but it will make your app a little faster and easy to use if it's hanging now to clear our cache we first need to scroll down and find the clear cache option and when you scroll down on the under the account actions over here under the account actions category you can see the clear cache option available over here tap on the clear cache options and you can see the warning has popped out all of your caches will be cleared your memories backup won't be deleted now if you really want to clear the cache which will make your app better uh, a little faster to run uh, tap on continue and after the loading has finished you can see the successfully cleared cache uh, sign up here and there guys this is how you clear your cache on snapchat app okay let's open up our snapchat app first and now to clear your conversation we must first go to our settings to go to settings you can see your profile picture icon or the bitmoji icon on the top left corner of your phone just tap there and after that you can see the settings icon or the gear icon on the top right corner of your phone just tap there and after that you will need to find uh, option that says clear conversation to find it let's scroll it down 
and under the privacy section you can see the clear conversation option available over here tap there and after that all these uh, conversations or chats which you have on your snapchat app will are available to you now to clear a conversation you just need to tap on the cross mark that is on the right side of the chats or the names now to if i wanted to clear a chat i would just do you can see the cross mark of, over here tap and when i tap on the cross mark like this you can see again a pop-up will appear and it says are you sure you want to clear this conversation this will clear the conversation from your feed it will not delete any saved or send messages in your conversation and now if you really want to clear your conversation tap on the clear and that conversation will be cleared out and for another let's try another one you can see the all over here with a gray love sign over here if i wanted to clear that conversation i would tap on the cross mark just beside it on the right side like this and you can see again the pop out pop up you can again see the pop up and now tap on the clear to clear it and it has been cleared you can see guys two of the chats has been removed from over here or two of the conversation has been removed from here and there guys this is how you clear a conversation in snapchat open up our snapchat app first and now to clear our search history in snapchat uh, we must first go to the search option by tapping on the magnifying glass option on the top left corner of your phone just beside your profile picture icon or a bitmoji icon you can see the magnifying glass option tap there and now after that all these options will be available to you you can see all the searches now if you want to clear your search you can see the clear all option available over here just below the cancel and tap on clear all and you can see the clear recent option just tap on the clear and there guys our search history in, in snapchat has been clear and and clearing our search history in snapchat was that easy open up our snapchat app first and after you have opened your snapchat you will be checked into this interface and now if you want to take a long snap and press and hold the record button uh, to take the long snap as you need so let's tap and hold it as well you can see the timer has been started and we can uh, take a long snap for a certain moment and there guys this is our long snap and this is how you create a long snap about snapchat at first now you need to know a thing before you create recovery code that is you need to set up the two-factor authentication before that and now let's get right to it and you can too uh, to create a recovery code you can see your bitmoji icon or your profile picture icon on the top left corner of your phone just tap there and after that you will be landed on this interface now to create a recovery code again you can see the gear icon on the settings icon on the top right corner of your phone just tap there and now after that you can see the two-factor authentication available over here just below the password tap there now now let's tap on continue so basically you need to know a thing that is before you create a re recovery code you need to set up a two-factor authentication let's do it with our sms verification now tap on the sms verification first and okay i have received the sms verification code now let's enter the code okay now we have uh, set up a two-factor authentication now let's generate our recovery code you can see the generate option at the bottom of your screen tap on the generate and you can see for your security please enter your password let's type our password over here and let's tap continue as well you can see your recovery code is this you will also get your own recovery code when you uh generated and you need to keep it safe and for any time okay now i have already screenshotted you might as well write it down and let's tap on i wrote it down and there guys we have successfully created a recovery code and if you have any com uh, confusions or questions regarding the topic don't hesitate to comment in the comment section below and don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon for more videos thank you for watching guys peace and if you want to generate a new recovery code you can see the recovery code option over here just below the authentication app option tap on the recovery code and you can again generate it if you want to but uh reco but generating too much too many recovery code can be a bit confusing so i will go with the old one and there guys okay let's open up our snapchat app first and before you start to search for the delete option under the profile category it's not there you cannot 
delete your snapchat account from the app directly so you need to go to the supported page of snapchat for accounts that is let's go to that website on our browser let's open your preferred browser any of it and let's go to accounts.snapchat.com this is the official website for snapchat for us now let's go with the username let's log in and after that you can see all these options pop out and if you scroll down a little bit you can see the delete my account option over here tap up tap there if you want to delete your account and after that you can see all these options over here now if you really want to delete your account hit the password again and tap on the continue and you can see your account has been deactivated which is your snapchat account will be deactivated soon if you have a verified an email address with snapchat we will send you confirmations once that happens in 30 days your account will be deleted if you like to deactivate your account before that happens just log into your snapchat and there guys we have temporarily deactivated our snapchat account open up our snapchat app first and after that you will be on this interface and now you can see the bitmoji icon or the pro your profile picture on the top left cor corner of your phone just tap there and after that you will be taken to this place where it's your avatar and you can go to all your settings and you can see the my story option over here which has zero views over here so just tap on the story and after that uh, this story will be open and you can see the three dotted icon on the top right corner of your phone just tap there and after that you can see the three settings options or three options pop out delete save and since snap and since we're going to delete the story just tap on the delete and you can see the delete pop up up here just tap on the delete again and the story has been deleted let's open up our snapchat app first and after you have opened you will land on this interface and on the bottom of your screen on the bottom left side of your screen you can see the map over the here just tap on the map and after that you can see we are over here and all you can see all these uh, blue areas uh, which means that there are a lot of users in this area if the area is blue which so if you want to find some users just tap on the blue areas near you and you can see all these contents appear from the users or on that location now if you want to view the creator you can see the view creator option over here which at the downside and just you need to just slide it up and you can see you can see the mr ayu lamsal has made this content and if you want to send the snap to others you can you can also uh, subscribe to mr ayu lamsal but i won't be doing it similarly if you want to uh, view the users of snapchat from a different location you can just tap any location you like like this and snapchat will automatically show you the snaps and to find the creator you can again see the try lens option over here on the downside you can see the try lens option over here on the downside just swipe it up and you can see the creator over here you can send the snap and you can subscribe to him there guys finding snapchat users around you is this easy Okay, let's open up our snapchat app first and after that you can see the bitmoji icon or your profile picture icon on the top left corner of your phone just tap there and after that you after you have landed on this interface you can see your uh, snapchat score under your profile picture qr code you can see over here which is the beside the aquarius one and my current snapchat score is three and if i don't want anybody to see it i can just go to the settings by tapping on um, the settings icon on the top right corner of our phone and after that we must go to the who can category which is a little bit down and you can see who can and this contact me over here just tap on the contact me since i have selected my friends and only my friends on snapchat will be able to see the snapchat score of mine if i tap on everyone then everyone will be able to see the snapchat score of my account so since i don't want everybody watching my or seeing my snapchat score uh, i will just tap on my friends and and only let my friends see it and there guys this is how to hide snapchat score on snapchat open up our snapchat app first after that uh in order to link a snapchat or 
add a link to your Snapchat story. But you first must take a snap. Let's take a picture of my laptop. And after that, you can see the all these options at the top right corner of your phone. Uh, we need to select or tap on the third one, which is the stickers option. Tap there on the third one. And after that, you can see all these options up here. But on the second row of options, you can see the story option at the last of it, just below the smiley. Tap on the story. And after that, you can see a custom story and a private story option pop out. So basically, the custom story says anyone who joins can contribute, and a private story says only I can contribute. So I want to add a custom story for this story. So I will not be doing the private, but the process are same for both of these. So let's add a custom story and just name of name the story. And after that, let's tap on the done. And after that, you can see the send to option over here, and you can also see the uh, link over here of our story. Now let's tap on send to, and after that, you can see the my story option over the top, or you can send it to anybody you like. But I will be posting this on my story since we are linking a snap that story on our snap. So tap on my story, and let's post it. And you can see the added to story has appeared and. Let's go to our story and you can see the sticker over here, the link over here. And there guys, this is how you add a link to your Snapchat. One of our Snapchat app first. And after that, after you have landed on this interface, you can see the Bitmoji or your profile picture icon on the top left corner of your phone. Just tap there. And after that, you can see the gear icon or the settings icon on the top right corner of your phone. Just tap there. And after that, you can see all this, but you need to scroll down to the last of the options. Let's scroll down at the bottom and you can see the logout option of eye level over here. Just tap on there and you just tap on again on the yes if you want to log out of and you can see the option pop up over here. If you tap on yes, you will log out of your Snapchat account from this device or from the current device you're using since I don't want to uh, log out uh, right now. I won't be logging out and I'll be tapping on no. And there guys logging out of and there guys logging out of uh, snapchat is this easy let's open up our snapchat app first and now to turn off all notifications for snapchat you must first go to settings to do that tap on the profile picture icon or bitmoji icon on the top left corner of your phone tap there and after landing on this interface you can see the settings button or the gear icon on the top right corner of your phone tap there and now after that you will need to find the notifications option over here which is under the partner connections or options over here you can see the notifications tap on notifications and now you can see the enable notifications option over here if you want to disable all of the notifications given by snapchat uh, tap on the tick mark of the enable notifications like this and you can see all of these are disable and this is how you turn off all notifications for snapchat and it's that easy and about snapchat at first and now after that to decide who can contact me in snapchat or not to do that let's go to our profile by tapping on the profile button or the bitmoji icon on the top left corner of your phone let's tap there and after that you can see the settings icon over here on the top right or the gear icon on the top right corner of your phone let's tap there and after that, uh, after landing on this interface, you we will need to uh, find the option which says uh, contact me under the category who can. If you scroll down a little bit like this, you can see the option contact me over here under the category who can. But you need to a little scroll. You need to scroll down a little bit. Now tap on the contact me option available over here. And after that, now currently my friends only option has been tick marked, which means that only my friends are able to contact me in snapchat and if i wanted everyone to be able to contact me on snapchat i would tap on everyone like this and you can see the tick mark is on everyone right now this that means that everyone on snapchat can contact me through snaps chats and calls and um, if you want only your friends to be able to contact you on snapchat tap right back again to my friends option over here like this and when the tick mark has appeared on my friends option over here um, only your friends will be able to contact you directly through snaps chats and calls and but I want everyone to be able to contact me so I prefer to choose the everyone option so I'll tap on everyone and there guys deciding the fact who can contact you on snapchat is this easy okay let's open up our snapchat app first 
and now to download your data you can see your profile picture icon or the bitmoji icon on the top left corner of your phone just tap there and now after getting over here you can see the settings icon on the top right corner of your phone or the gear icon just tap on there and now after you have landed on this interface which is the settings you need to scroll down a little bit and under the privacy category you can see the my data option available over here just tap there and after that you will be required to log into snapchat once again with your user or name or email id for this purpose i will be using my username you can use either of them and after that tap on the i'm not a robot to verify we're not a robot and it says we need to tap on boats these are the boats we i don't see any any other boats over here let's verify it and let's log in and after that you can see the my data over here and you can see the data available in app from name username birth date to snap snap map settings permissions lifetime lifestyle categories and preferences exam stories memories and data available for download login history account information snap story chat story our story and all these data you want to do you can download if you want to so to now to download you need to scroll down a little bit so basically you can see your email address over here and it says please enter your preferred email address to submit it because we will use this address to notify you once your export is ready for download and now to uh submit the request uh confirm your email again address again by retyping it and after that you can see the submit request option over here tap on the submit request option and there guys snapchat have received our request and it says we are preparing a copy of your data now we'll email at when your data is ready for downloading uh it will be sent at your mail and uh, it will be mailed at your email and you can do the further downloading from there and if you have and there guys downloading your data from snapchat app is this easy okay let's open up our snapchat app first and after that you will be landed on this interface and you can see your bitmoji icon or your profile picture icon on the top left corner of your phone stab there and after that you can see your username over here you can see the username my username is mad boy up so you can also see your username over there now if you want to see your further details of your snapchat account which you register you can see the gear icon or the settings icon on the top right corner of your phone stab and after that you can see your name username birthday mobile number email and password over here basically you won't be able to see your password directly but you will be able to reset it anytime you like so there guys viewing your details on snapchat is this easy let's open up our snapchat app first and after getting on this interface you can see the big mozi icon or your profile picture icon on the top left corner of your phone just tap there and after getting here you can see the settings option available on the top right corner of your phone that is the gear icon and after that after landing on this interface you need to find the category security and you need to locate two-factor authentication as you can see the two-factor authentication is just below the password option tap on the two-factor authentication option and after that let's continue you can see the diary continue button over here tap on continue and after that you can see please choose a way to receive a verification code either or sms verification will be sent to your number or you must authenticate an app now the simplest way to set up a two-factor authentication is by sms we will be going by the sms verification tap on the sms verification and we have they have sent a code to your number your registered number on snapchat just wait for a few minutes for it to arrive and after you put the code your two-factor authentication will be active and we have received our code let's input our code and you can see now generate recovery code so you can log in on new device in case you change or lose your access to phone you can do this or you we have already set up the two-factor authentication now let's skip it and you can see uh two-factor authentication uh we, you will be sent to sms verification while you log into your snapchat account from wherever and there guys we have successfully set up two-factor authentication via sms verification open up our snapchat app first and after that 
you can see the two picture icon over here just beside the record button over here just tap there and after that you can see we are currently on the snaps uh, snaps is underlined in the dark because we are on it so if you want to go to camera roll you can see the camera roll option over here just tap there and it will take you to your camera roll where you can see all your pictures over here and there guys this is how you upload a photo from a camera let's just upload a photo and i want to go with this and you can see to select a photo you can see the tick mark over here on the top right corner of your phone just tap there and after that you can select whichever photo you like uh, for me it's gonna be this and you can see all these options up here and let's upload it and there guys uh, you can send to anybody you like or you can just upload it as a story and okay let's add to our story okay and dear guys uh this is how you upload a photo from your gallery to snapchat open up our snapchat app first and you can see the bitmoji on the top left corner of your phone with your avatar step on there and after that okay after that you can see the settings option over here on the top right corner of your phone which is a gear icon i repeat on the top top right corner of your phone just tap there and after that uh this is your settings of your snapchat and now to, you won't see the location right away but now in order to see your location you need to scroll a little bit down And you can see the see my location option over here under the category who can just tap on the see my location and after that you can see the ghost mode enabled which means that nobody can see your location currently and if you turn it off or the if you tap on the toggle icon beside the option of ghost mode then it, it turns to gray and then it will show you these options you can see turn off ghost mode and choose who can see your location you can of uh, uh, choose my friends which means all of your friends and you can also choose on some of your friends except and you can also choose only these friends which means that you can enable my location or show your location to only the person whom you want to so for me i'll be doing my friends and let's do this and after that you can see the save option over here i will be showing my location to only two of them so let's save it this is how you can choose to show your location or not in snapchat app and it's this easy just open up our snapchat app first and after you have landed on this page you need to know some things we will be to i will be today showing you all the camera modes and what it does and explain it to you but i will not be making every particular videos for every fix because it takes a lot of time but i will show you how to use it now you can see the plus icon on the top right corner of your phone just tap there and after that all these options will be available for you since we are only using camera modes let's go with the focus mode first so tap on there when you tap on the focus mode it will find a face or move closer closer so it will be more easier to uh, capture the face only so this is what focus mode does and after that it will focus a particular subject and highlight it so let's disable it and after that you can see the timer option over here you can the timer on if you like and you can select how much do you want to put your timer just tap on the timer and the icon you can see up here the timer icon is appeared just above the plus icon just tap there you from here you can uh select the time or time for the countdown timer and this is the timer guys and after that let's again tap the plus button and after that you can see the grid options as well if you tap there uh, your camera will be like this uh, gridded because in this mode you can uh, proportionate the right amount of pictures in your screen and grid also helps it with aligning a snap with grid lines so and after that after the grid you can see the multi snap you can take more than one snap on this effect like this and you can see there are two or three snaps being taken and after that you can uh, let's disable it and after that 
you can see the timeline option over here or uh, you can do is take different snaps or videos video snaps and wrap it together so that it can be seen in one video which is timeline and let's turn off the timeline you can also add your songs from over here which snapchat provides you can see all these songs this is it guys this is how you use effects of snapchat open up our snapchat app first and after you have landed on the camera interface you can see the chat at the bottom side of your screen tap on the chat and here are all your friends i will repeat only if you are friends with someone on snapchat you will be able to call them or, or if you are not friends with someone on snapchat you have sent them the friend request but if they have not accepted yet then you will not be able to make video calls with them so in order to make a video call you can see a friend of mine over here tap i'll tap him and after he, he landing on this interface you can see the audio and the video call option available over here if i choose to video call just tap on the camera icon or the video icon that was a video call and you can see the phone you can also see both audio call and video call are applicable in snapchat if you're friends with somebody for directly knowing how to use your recovery code you need to know a thing for that uh, you will only need to use your recovery code when you have no access to the phone number which you had registered on snapchat at the time of creation and and you have set it up the two-factor authentication but you are not getting to it but but you want to log into your snapchat account but you can't because you have no access then only you will need to use your recovery code now to do that it's login and to login you can see the login option at the left side of left down side of your phone tap on the login and after that uh enter enter your email or your username i'll be using my username for this and it's login and now you can see the verify device option or uh, snapchat will send you a code to your phone but if you have no access to that phone number the registered phone number of snapchat then you will not receive the code now now in this condition you can you need to use a recovery code to sign into snapchat now let's use it and this is my recovery code and let's continue and you, as you can see, two-factor authentication has been disabled since I used my recovery code to sign into Snapchat. And I will tap to, I need to tap on OK and to log in. And let's turn it on. Allow it. Allow it. And allow it. And again, allow it. Let's do that later. And there, guys, let's tap on the profile picture icon or the Bitcoin icon on the top left. And now, and this is how you use your recovery code to sign into snapchat if you have no access to the phone number you registered into the snapchat at the time of creation and there guys using your recovery code is this easy and if you have any confusions or questions regarding the topic don't hesitate to comment in the comment section below and don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon for more videos thank you for watching guys peace